Unpackaging your scooter. Remove the staples from the box in order to avoid injury while unpacking the scooter. Remove the charger and manual from the box. Inside the plastic bag with the manual, you will find the tools required to assemble the scooter. Remove the foam separators that protect the components during shipping. Lift the scooter out of the box. Inspect the scooter for any scratches, dents, or other damage that may have occurred during shipping. Allow up to 15 to 20 minutes for assembly, not including the initial charge time of 8 hours. Assembly To ensure the rider's safety, the scooter should be assembled by an adult. Slide the steering mast into the scooter frame. Push in the small silver locking pin to allow the mast to slide all the way down. Make sure the locking pin snaps into the slot in the steering mast. Close the quick release securely to hold the mast in place. The tension of the quick release can be adjusted by tightening or loosening the tension adjusting nut. Remove the two bolts holding the top cap onto the steering mast using a 6mm hex wrench. Lay the handlebar on the steering mast. The brake lever should go on the left hand side. Rotate the handlebar to a comfortable position, then add the top cap and tighten the two bolts securely and evenly. Charging the batteries. Remove the five deck plate screws using the included 4mm hex wrench. Before riding your scooter for the first time, you must connect the battery located under the deck plate. Make sure that the power switch is in the off position. Locate the two plugs and connect them together. Reinstall the deck plate onto the scooter. Plug the battery charger into a wall outlet. Face the charger port groove up, then plug it into the scooter. The light on the charger will change from green to red, indicating that the batteries are now charging. Allow up to 8 hours for initial charge. When charging is complete, the indicator light on the charger will turn green. Always unplug the charger after use. Always store the scooter with the power switch in the off position. Scooter use. Before using the scooter for the first time, be sure to read and understand the owner's manual. Push to start. The scooter needs to be moving forward at about 2 miles per hour before the motor will activate. Kick like you're riding a skateboard, then twist the throttle and let the motor take over. Lean to steer. Unlike a normal scooter, the front wheels don't rotate with the handlebars. To turn the scooter, just lean in the direction you want to go. To stop, squeeze the left hand brake lever to slow the rear wheel. Try not to skid the wheel. The solid rubber tire can develop flat spots and cause a bumpy ride. Enjoy!